Yes! Graphics! Yes! <laughs> what is it? The power of the dark side, 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 side. Yo, so how's it going guys and welcome back. So today we're gonna be taking a look at one of the new weapons the assault rifle blizzard Blitzer. I'm pretty sure I got it right. Look, I sat down. I did say this name so many times. I'm pretty sure I got it right. All right Blizzard Blitzer Fuck! I'm like almost 100% I got it right. Oh boy. First of all, this is how the weapon looks like in my opinion It doesn't look that special I mean, I compare it to the pain train the pain train like it's basically a train as a damn assault rifle Well, this one <laughs> It is a toy. I mean, this whole set is all about toys, right? However, before we start, in yesterday's video, I did a first look video. Oh boy, there was so many things in the background that I had no idea. Thanks to my man Stormy over here, he basically sent me all the changes that happened to the game. Here it is, you can pause it and check them out and read for yourself. There is a lot of changes, man. A lot of changes, especially the Smasher one. Jesus, the Smashers are so annoying right now. They go through the stairs, everything. They see a wall, they charge. No matter what nothing's gonna stop them beside your teddy or shock tower or your constructor charge nothing else changing elements on weapons check this out so now if i want to change this usually it's gonna cost me 1500 reaper and oh boy oh boy hey we can just use the elements just the elements you have no idea how happy i am this is like the best change ever the only thing that's gonna cost you reaper now is if you want to change it to physical physical is gonna cost you 1500 reaper other than that all the elements is just gonna cost you the elements you farm and i have a lot of them i never use them so now i can change finally my scythe that i put it away for so long i couldn't change it to energy because i always be like nah i want to save the reaper for videos but now i can do that oh my that feels so good so satisfying Thank you, Epic. I'm sorry about that. I took a lot of your time. If you're just here for the review, I'm really sorry. With that out of the way, let's hop into it. So the weapon here. Can't change the element on it. You're gonna be shooting uh, snowballs. Very nice. Crit damage, crit rate, crit damage. 50% damage to stunt. Staggered. Frozen. Frozen. Or knock down targets. Stunning or knocking back an enemy with this weapon will cause a nearby enemies to freeze for a short duration. This event doesn't keep going on the same husk over and over. It got a one second cooldown and it doesn't work on miss monsters or bosses. So keep that in mind. Alright, so here we are. I know, I know, I know. Epic. Ew. Disgusting. I know, I know. Very, very, very oof. I know. But I'm gonna try my best to get this hero legendary because it's a really, really good hero. I didn't make a video on her, but it's really, really good. Because all you need just to kill four enemies and you can have the buff going on for nine seconds. And you just keep killing and killing and killing. The buff is really good. All right. The buff is really good. Coconuts to heal myself. Crit damage for the assault rifles. Ice Queen is a bit bugged. So you have this buff going on all the time. However, even if she's not bugged, when you freeze, you're gonna be doing damage extra damage to the husks i know it's not the best option but i heard so many people tell me that ice queen is really bugged right now so if you use her on whatever build you can get this 14 percent damage all the time you don't have to freeze anything so that's why i'm using her over here and at the end the two health heroes to get the buff armor and damage with that out of the way let's hop in game here we go Do it. graphics amazing <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't know if I jump into this map, I'm gonna hear this guy. God damn it. Alright, so, first thing. Oh my god! Oh, alright, alright. Epic giving Shrek movie some love. Help me. First of all, I got this as a gift today. So thank you so much for the gift. I really appreciate it. <laughs> it's so bugged and saved the wall. Check this out. What is that? Yes. Graphics. Yes. What is that? It's so bugged. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, that's hot. 10 out of 10 from me. Th that's a 10 out of 10. Does it light propanes? I mean, I'm shooting at the propanes. It doesn't light them. So that's a good thing. It's destroyed. I'm really, I really regret going into this mode if I'm gonna just hear Dennis going on all the time. I might have to mute him. He's gonna force me to. I don't like to, but he's gonna force me to. If he doesn't shoot. Yep. Oh, that's cool. I love this. The fact that you can freeze them. Oh my god. Greatest toy in history. 
I know I can mute them, but let, come on. The game is going to be super boring without them talking all the time and being annoying. But yeah, that's what I love about this game. All right, so first thing first, this is how the weapon shoots. I showed it by here. Yep. So the more you shoot, the more it's going to spread, but it's really accurate. It's really accurate. And the recoil is not that bad. Not bad at all. All right, that wasn't that great. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I mean, the, the other thing that I don't like about this rifle is the fact that it's projectiles. Every shot is its own projectile and it's gonna take a little bit to hit the target. So if we have a target moving, as you can see, it's hard to hit and you know some husks are really annoying and move a lot so 33,000 that's with the health build not bad not bad I didn't see how much we crit for how much the crit no crit hold up is 35,000 when we crit wait wait wait, wait. is only 35,000 when we crit cool oh smasher calm down oh no I'm getting slapped! Don't stop! Don't stop! I know you! Um, uh, mistakes were made. So, let's see the range, alright? I'm this far. It doesn't hit. Mm, that's a 10. Let's kill this guy in 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of hot. Wait, wait, what, 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 what? What was that? I didn't deal any damage. Was he bugged? I mean, 80,000 when we crit on headshots? Nah. I mean... I want to try it with different builds just to see if it's good or not. It might be terrible with the health build. It might be broken. With this build, I don't want to try the weapon with just one build. I want to do different builds so I can see maybe it's super strong with one and maybe it's potato with the other. So that's why I want to try. So yeah, here's the build. As I said, the crit damage guy, the crit damage build, and then I went with these. The more I shoot, the more damage these two, so I can activate the crit build. I stayed with this guy. The more health I have, the more damage. Then let's try it out. I'm going to try to find a smasher, but I want to try it on encampment first, just to see against a decent group. Is it good? Against fire elements, it's broken. But here, here's the thing. This is what I don't like about the crit build. You die so fast if you're not careful. So fast. What are you aiming at? What are you aiming at? This is why I don't like the goddamn projectiles. It's so annoying. Alright. This is a blaster. He's full health. So I want to heal. I want to have max health. And I want to use the crit build against this guy. Let's see. Let's eat. Here we go. Broken. I know. I still. Yeah. Yeah, the crit build is just way too strong. The crit build is just way too strong. Help! It doesn't destroy the beehives. But if I use a different weapon like this one. You can just shoot them and destroy them. But with this weapon. It doesn't work. All right, here's a smasher, but it's water element. I know, I know, this is not, basically, I'm not chewing the damage because it's a huge difference. But hey, just to try it out against elements with the crit build, still broken. I mean, the crit build, here's the thing. I always say the crit build is just way too strong. Without the crit buff, it's going to take a little bit to kill him. All right, so the first good thing about this weapon... You freeze enemies, all right, that's really good. If you are at end game content really hard and there's fire elements and you're using this weapon, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be decent. You're gonna freeze them. They won't get close to the base. Not bad. It's basically like you're playing Zenith. So it's not a bad weapon, but not for mist monsters or mini bosses. That's sad. All right, the other good thing is the fact that it's really accurate. It's really, really accurate. 
I don't know what's going on with the bullets right now. It's really accurate. But other than that, there is a ton of bad sides about this weapon. First of all, it's hard to shoot the riots through the holes. Because of the projectiles, they're way too big. The other bad thing, you're shooting projectiles. So it's gonna be hard to hit a moving target. The third bad thing, you can shoot the beehives. It's not gonna do that. And the last bad thing is the fact that it's only water elements. There's a few good things, but there's a lot of bad things about this weapon. Will I personally use this weapon? No. I was looking for a decent assault rifle. I'm gonna use this one just for fun. But other than that, I'm not gonna use it. If I get one, I'm collection book for me. So yeah, with that out of the way, let me know what you think. And I'll see you later on with another one. Take care and have yourself a good day. Maybe use my code. I mean, uh, it's free, you know. That's a great price. <laughs>